I'm about to go out and place my first nest box. Uh, I'm gonna boreal owl nest box. So that I have um, snowshoeing maybe a mile out. I've heard owls in the area last year, this year. So I'm gonna give it a try here. Got my nest box right here in the ground before behind me. I'm gonna pull it out, get my snowshoes on. And if I get lucky, maybe I'll just find a nest and not have to place the owl box, but uh, give it a try. Uh, this is the area that I'm snowshoeing through right now. What I'm trying to get to is that far row of conifers you can see back there. Um, probably a little further than that. I gotta go over here and get the right angles to where I kinda heard that owl calling from. See if I can pinpoint a location. So I overestimated the distance, or excuse me, underestimated the distance a little bit. It was only a half mile, not bad at all. Um, let me turn this around. Oh. Right in here, I can see some dead trees. I'm gonna start with those, kind of look through here. Um, nice, nice out this morning. That's where I came from. Uh, you know, when I see an area like this, I always wonder what came through. You know, bigger tracks snowed in, they're old. Moose, you know, maybe the first bear. So, I'm aware of bears as I'm out here. I have bear spray on. Oh, I'm aware of bears while I'm out here. I have bear spray with me. Thank God there's a lot of snow. It's so early. I saw the other day, it was March 20th last year. Somebody had tracks on one of the trails here in uh, Island Park. You know, I've already seen tracks in Yellowstone this year. I've seen bears out there too, I haven't, other people have. But, uh, kind of see what I can find out here. I'm going through. The biggest thing is such a big area. So many trees to check. You know, if I can't find anything that looks worthwhile, I'll put the, the nest box up. And see how it goes. Okay, sorry, I'm always out of breath when I'm talking. But, uh, that's how it is. Work. Um, so I'm walking towards some trees that I can kind of see above the rest. They look like they're dead. That's what I'm looking for is dead trees, snags, in a conifer forest. Um, that's what I understand that the boreals, boreal owls like. They're cavity nesters. So I'm gonna go out here up this hill and see if I can't uh, see any holes in these trees. So here are the dead trees you can see that I'm talking about. That's what I'm walking towards. Um, if those don't pan out, then I'll move to the next. I'm not pulling the nest box right now. So I don't wanna pull it clear up this hill and think, oh, that's not right. So one thing at a time. I'm crossing this trail or road I've crossed it before in the winter time I don't know if it's drivable in the summertime but what I want to show you is these tree wells so the trees give off heat and the tree wells start forming first so the reason I showed you the tree wells is that's kind of what I'm looking for as an indicator it's time to go start uh, listening for the owls as those tree wells start to melt out and then from what I understand the redback voles start using those um, and then that's when it's easier for the owls to start hunting it's hard to hunt in the deep snow um, a lot of places owls have actually already started nesting with the snow isn't it just deep but it takes a little longer up here before the owls can start nesting. Okay, I made it. Kind of turn around here. See, it's kind of an open area of these dead trees. I almost wish I brought the, the box up with me now. Seems like a good area. The question is, is can I get the box 16 feet high? You know, if the snow is four feet, I can reach another foot above me. That's only 12, 13, that might do it. But they say 16 to 20 feet. Um, so here we go. These are the trees I'm looking at. Got to find some kind of hole in them. If not, these seem like a good place 
to place the nest boxes. Um, like I said, you know, I gotta get 16 feet up. I might be able to climb some of those branches and nail it in. It doesn't matter what direction you face them, but it did want, uh, this information I'm sharing is, call, is coming from nestwatch.org. And it recommended, that's where it recommended 16 to 20 feet up. And open area around the trees. So it seems like it has plenty of open space. Conifer forest. Um, you know, for my research, the owls do prefer more of a subalpine fir um, to a mixed with spruce trees. So we got quite a few fir trees in here is what we're looking at right now. But uh, so these trees here, you probably won't be able to tell. Up towards the top, you do have places where the woodpeckers have been. But now I gotta search for um, an actual cavity in one of these trees. So as I walk around in here, I'm kind of turn around. This is another spot. You can see dead trees through here as well. And that one right there, you know, that one looks like a great place for a, a great gray owl to nest right on top of there. So there's just so many options through here. What I need to do is uh, come back about dusk and walk out this area and listen for the call again and get a better pinpoint. And the thing is, is about the boreal owls, what they'll do is they'll move from cavity to cavity as the male will. And the male is looking for different cavities, a good nesting area. And then the female will come and say, okay, you know, that works. We'll take this one that's acceptable. When it does that, the male will actually have a different call that it gives off. So that's the call that I need to listen for while I'm out, because then I know it's actually ch chose a nesting place and I can pinpoint the area better and look for cavities then. This is good for scouting, a uh, place for my box, kind of see what's out here, what I need to be looking for when I hike back out at dusk sometime. I want to show these tracks to you. I can't say exactly what it belongs to, but it runs up and it's visiting the tree wells and then it moves along. Went to that one. And the tracks come right through here. And out here, I'm not gonna be able to follow that, but right into that area. So, kind of what I'm looking for I guess or I guess I should say what the owls are looking for. 